toward you. This is Roger. Say what you're saying. Hey, so, in your little box that you have right here, for your ducting, for heating and cooling, and to get air to move so that you can keep things cool, so things last longer, so you don't burning up your air conditioner and stuff, you can take, and on these channels, on the edges, out of the way, all you need is a hat channel that's about six inches by six inches. And that'll take and get you to circulate the air from the front to the back side, wherever you decide to put your fans. Because you're going to need an air for intake to let fresh air into the, into the living space. And you need a channel for your outtake to take air out of your living space. This is also going to help with cooling so that you don't have to run your air conditioner so much. And then all you need are some 12 volt fans that can run off of their own independent solar panels on top of the cab of the truck. Pause. Well, I don't, I don't know how to pause this thing. It's just the end of the video. No, I just, that's the end of the video. Well, well, my question is, you're talking about putting it all the way in the front. That's if you're going to take and use that dead space for uh, putting the reefer cover over it. So you have, because you don't want to pull in air from underneath. That's toxic, disgusting air. You want it to be from the top. And you don't want to cut into your ceiling because now you have a point for leaking. I see you're building all of oh. this out of two by fours, so you don't want to fucking have leaks inside that, this thing. That's also true. Okay, so that means you're gonna have to have it either on the sides or in the front. It's easier to hide it in the front in a reefer panel. And then that gives you a little bit more space for a couple of solar panels and some small batteries that can run those fans independently of anything else. Damn it, you're right. Okay. And it's not much. You're just looking at the cowling. You're not looking at spending thousands of dollars. So for then, so Go then maybe fifty dollars for a fucking plastic box. At this point, then, if I'm doing all of this, I might as well put the actual unit on there. A reefer unit? No, those are thousands of dollars. All you need is the fucking cloaking device. Okay. Okay. All you need is the disguise. All you need is the hider, because you're going to put a couple of fans in it. One for air to go in. One for air to go out. That covers everything covers all of your air ventilation needs including any plumbing that needs to happen but all your plumbing can already be done through the floor using stutter vents okay this is shit I do all the fucking time I mean I spent the last 60 hours doing that shit in all right hours. so you're saying that I'm gonna get the uh, <clears throat> the compressor unit I'm gonna mount that in the garage somewhere mm -hmm. and then duct work is gonna go all the way to the front of the truck to bring fresh air to it and to take fresh air and to take a heated air from it or on the sides you have a couple of little grills that are hiding on the side that are probably about two foot by six this inches. seems more attractive now the grills on the sides you're still going to want the thing in the front because of the 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 reefer disguise in the front is going to be for your living space air the grills on the back on the sides is going to just be air to help exhaust can i just the punch heated air. through the ground for exhausting yeah for exhausting hot air you can punch through the ground but you I'd still have to have that. cool air you still have to have cool air coming into that garage or you're going to overheat your air conditioner and for the heat pump side of it you can close it up and keep that space warmer And don't forget, you still need space to mount a fucking generator. You're going to want at least an 8,000 watt generator to charge to keep the batteries fully charged when you need them, when the solar panels can't keep up. And you know, for emergencies. a lot of uh, the videos I've watched feature a 3,100 watt uh, generator uh, that you can use in tandem to hit that 6,000 watt. Uh, that solar way, panels during the day? Yeah. Uh, Go with a four thousand because it's a more common generator design. But you're 4, but you're generator. saying a full on eight. Full on eight will guarantee no matter what. If it's a cloudy day, if you're someplace, let's say you're in fucking Seattle where there's never any sun, for whatever fucking reason you want to go there, maybe you want to fucking get late. I don't know. Uh, you go to Seattle because whatever fucking reason there's never any sun, you're gonna need an eight thousand watt generator to fucking top your shit off. Huh. Run the generator while you're driving. Fuck it, doesn't matter. It doesn't care. You have it tapping. Is that a diesel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
diesel generators are a lot more expensive. If you yeah. just get a gas generator, or a dual fuel generator. That's what I was thinking, the propane you get gas. get a dual fuel one, you can run it off of propane because you're going to be running. You can get a refrigerator that runs off of propane. You can get your air conditioner, not your air conditioner, but your heater runs off of propane. But if I can run the refrigerator, refrigerator off of uh, solar, the idea is to kind of uh, reduce as many of the, the, the daily costs as possible. So that solar does run everything that it possibly can and everything else that I, that I can't do during free solar hours during the day. That I can still, yeah. Solar power fridge freezer. There you go. That's as good as it's going to get. Well, that's enough size for me, yeah. Okay. It's small. You're not, you're not stocking up for the apocalypse here. Okay. Well, I just... I'd like to have enough freezer space for all of my frozen-ass pizzas. Because that's, that's my primary uh, nutrition source, is big old DiGiorno-ass pizzas. Then you're going to definitely want your own separate fri freezer, and a good idea for that would be in the floor under the fridge. Have the fridge lift up and out of the way, and there's your freezer. You can insulate that shit with R30 Armax foam. It'll stay frozen longer, and it runs less. The biggest key to refrigerators... The more insulation, the less power is needed to run that refrigerator. Period. You think I should get a top load big old freezer? If you're going to be getting a ton of refrigerators, yeah. Refrigerators? Or I mean pizzas. pizzas. Yeah. You don't have to have a big ass top loader like that either. You know, that is a smart idea because if that's what I eat How all about the time. your couch doubles as a freezer? That's we, actually we have, a space efficient we, we design have, that people have done. No, we have a... We have a it folding out into a second bed right now. That's the only place I've got for a secondary bed. It's kind of okay. Important. But I, I, I'll make the space for a, a freezer that size, man. That's a good idea. I'll it just have to. A, look it doesn't up need to be a freezer that size. You can get a box freezer the size of your safe. Just a freezer for pizzas. And then you have a regular refrigerator and freezer for everything else. Okay. Okay, and they can go in all the same space. You'd be amazed at how efficient they make shit. And then your furnace and air conditioner is going to be housed underneath the truck. If you come to my house, my place right now, I'll show you the fucking furnace and air conditioner. Well, I have this thing with Corey that we're going to run. Okay, you go ahead and run it and do that. And then I will show you some more shit later on where it can go. But your furnace is a little bit bigger than this. I can't even find the page. See? RV furnace is about that big. And that's a separate unit as well. Separate unit entirely. Runs off of propane. So I need, to, I need to part, partition more space for that. For underneath. The, it's going to go underneath. Outside. This is why i got to do the ductwork in your flooring for the heater. Wow, man. There's a whole mass of shit. The thing, the thing people don't see about the house that you live in is what's underneath that motherfucker. Yeah. I crawl through the crawl spaces. And I want to punch motherfuckers in the throat because you have the AC guy running shit the wrong spot. I was in a house where I had literally this big of a hole to fucking crawl through to get in there. Because there's a duct, water, water, drain, right fucking there. Right through the crawl space. Right through the entrance of the crawl space. And how my fucking fat ass got through it, I'll never know. But I did it. Basically, I crawled through that bitch right there. Yeah. That would give me claustrophobic uh, nightmares. I got pictures! Gross. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of shit. And then you gotta run your water lines. You gotta run your water lines through there. You know? And that's the thing. You have a a line diagram, not that's, a blueprint. You yeah, I don't even have a diagram. That's what that's what we're working with. Okay. You get me some graph paper. I can draw you up. You get me some graph paper. And just put where we're your just shit's gonna go. We're flexing everything on the fly. This is my whole design started, you know, from uh, that, basically. Well, well, uh, just drinking all the time. That's well, that's when I started all this okay. shit. I'm just working well, with the same kind of. Like I said, I got the tools mentality. to do all that shit, and just to give you a rough idea, to do just the hot and cold water lines for something like that, to do it professionally and correctly, you're looking at close to a thousand dollars between materials and labor. 
that's both. Wow. Because you're not going to be able to get the, the tools alone are almost seven thousand dollars. Jeez, man. If you don't want it to ever blow up in the wintertime. No, that's that's key, man. I would I would say that's the first before thing. Before you're done with your floor. On your priority list, not blowing up is probably number one. Before you finish getting everything in there and you're ready to put your... The first thing you have to do is going to be your plumbing. You need to get that in before you start putting in a floor and shit like that. While it's a rough box like what you showed me over there, yeah, that's the time to start doing your plumbing like right now. Otherwise... I'm going to want to cut your fucking throat to have to get through shit to put your fucking plumbing where it needs to go. Otherwise, your fucking water lines are going to be outside exposed to the elements. And we all know what happens when you freeze a fucking water pipe. And so you, and you're saying you think that it's going to cost me $1,000 to do all of the... Parts and labor just for the plumbing. That's just your water lines. That's not your waste lines. Your waste lines are easily another 500 bucks. Parts and labor. Wow. That's not your tanks either. That's just getting your fucking hoses to where they gotta go or your fucking... What do you mean that's not the tanks? What does that mean? Your tanks are gonna be probably just to buy your tanks. Just your oh, fucking Oh, I know. Parts tank. and labor for all the shit not including the tanks themselves. Exactly. Yeah, once, that you, makes once sense. we get the tanks mounted and shit... No, I was looking. Water tanks aren't, they're not free, man. Not free on eBay at all. Clean water tanks are fucking expensive. <laughs> yeah. Fucking gray, your gray and black water tanks are not expensive, are not cheap nice. either. So, hide the beer from yourself. Right. <laughs> so. Well, these videos, these videos are for me. This is... Oh, I know. I'm I'm recording what I'm learning. I'm recording what we're doing, so that I can go back over it. Remember, it it's an archive. Tonight. Well, yeah, it's an archive of the build because this is the biggest thing I've ever built in my life. Good to go. <laughs> right. <sighs> All right. So you have more space than you think to get everything done, but you have to do it in the right order. So if you've got, if you, you, you may be at a point where you need to pause what you're doing to get your utilities in place. Do you have your electrical run yet? Well, that's apparently what we're doing right now. So this is not the newest video. I'll show you the, let me show you the, if I'm I can. Have to get going here soon because I have a morning well, at home that needs dead. We're at a point where, say you're right about. yeah, we're there. Um, that's what Jim's working on right now. We're plugging these holes in Monday and Tuesday. We're plugging these two holes that we have in the ceiling. And then he's uh, running electrical after that. Plugging what two holes in the ceiling? This one and this one. Okay. When's he going to run the electrical? He was going to start working on that after. Wait a second here. Skeleton, veins, rest of it. Essentially, it's how it works. Okay, so how far beyond this is he? He's put up a wall here and a wall here, just the frames. It doesn't have any of this on it. It's okay, just good. the two by fours. While you got the f once the framing is done at the framing point, framing is done. Then stop. Now this is literally where. The... Yes, after framing, after framing comes electrical and plumbing, every time. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that now. Seriously, the fucking cost to do your plumbing is going to triple. Yeah, it, uh, uh, well, he's doing and the electrical now. Labor. And and Corey was going to help me with the plumbing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now you're talking about, like, taking it up a level with the HVAC and everything. Okay, you're going to need the, your ducting run, which can be run through that bottom space that we've seen for your heating. can be run through that. Your air conditioning is going to be run, if you're going to go with that air conditioner that I showed you, I'm probably going to end up taking all of your advice. Cause You're not going to need any ducting for the AC. It's just going to be you fucking <laughs> blow it right in. You're done. Okay. I mean, we're looking how at... How much would you charge me to do my, my, my heat and cooling work? I'll do the heating, cooling, and plumbing for you. All of it. I don't mind that. Like how, I said, I have much? the tools for it. For the labor side on, on, heating and air, on the heating and air labor side, you're looking at probably another $800.
and that's making sure it's all done right. Right. I, I want to get with Jim because, like, I technically already paid for all of these services. With Jim? Mm hmm. Okay. So you're going to have to dock it from him. Hold on a second. Hey, I what's can't. up, Ron? I can't. I am then, oh, uh, picking heads with a friend right now, and then okay. I have to go finish laundry. What's up? All right.